Did you know that over 2,500 years ago, God stopped the sun so that the Israelites could conquer the promised land? After spending 40 years in the desert, God declared that his people were ready to enter the promised land. At that time, Joshua was the leader, so God spoke to him and told him everything that Joshua had to do. With God's guidance, Joshua and his people went with great faith to defeat each of the peoples within that promised land. But before that, they encountered a major problem they did not know how to pass through the waters of the Jordan River. As there were more than 2,000 people and they did not have the means to cross the river. So Joshua went up to the mountains and prayed to God, finding the solution to that problem in him. The next day, Joshua gathered all his people on the shores of the Jordan River and ordered the priests to march ahead with the Ark of the Covenant because God would perform a miracle. At that moment, the priests began to walk towards the river, and as soon as they touched the waters, the river started to split in two. All the people were amazed at the miracle that had occurred. They could cross the river on foot without getting wet, with the waters towering on either side and fish swimming in them. When everyone had finished crossing the river, they were all very happy and thanked God for what had happened. But it didn't end there, now they had to battle with over 30 very evil tribes that inhabited those lands. The first tribe had gigantic walls that were impossible to break through. That's why Joshua went back up to the mountains to listen to God's instructions. There, God ordered that they march around the city of Jericho seven times. And so they did. All the warriors arrived at the city and began to walk around the walls. And at the end of the seventh lap, a massive earthquake occurred, causing all the walls and part of the city to collapse. At that moment, the people of Israel were able to enter Jericho and destroy everything inside the city, except for some gold that was stolen by one disobedient soldier of the people of Israel, despite God's instructions to burn everything. Days later, they encountered a small and weak tribe called Ai. Joshua, feeling confident of victory, led his people against them without first consulting God. When they arrived, Things did not go as expected, and the fights against them were becoming increasingly futile as the soldiers falling were from the people of Israel. For that reason, they returned without a victory. Joshua, very sad, consulted with God, and God revealed the reason for their defeat, showing him the disobedience that had occurred among the people of Israel due to a thief in their midst. So that thief and his family were punished, and Joshua ordered all the stolen gold to be burned, ensuring that God was with them once again. From that day on, Joshua did nothing without first consulting God, gradually defeating all the tribes until they faced the most difficult challenge yet, three tribes that had allied together to gain an advantage over Israel. That made the battle more difficult, as the quantity of soldiers was three times greater than the soldiers of Israel. However, Joshua had a lot of trust in God, that's why he never gave up. When these three nations went against Israel, Joshua and his people marched towards them to attack. Since there were so many soldiers, Joshua asked for help from God and God sent fire from heaven upon the other nations, causing some of their soldiers to fall. Hours later, the battle was still ongoing and the people of Israel were gaining victory, but another issue arose as night was approaching. Joshua feared that due to the darkness, the soldiers of the other nations would hide and flee. That's when Joshua, with the authority given by God, commanded the sun to stand still. At that moment, God stopped the world, preventing the day from turning into night. This way, Joshua and the people of Israel were able to defeat those nations and many others, gaining the promised land for themselves.